This year's coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Corsair and eBuyer. Check them out in the link below. Hey everyone, welcome back to Computex 2019. We're here looking at some of the coolest stuff from the show. And this is actually a fan favorite. This is what everyone has been asking all about. It is the brand new PG35VQ gaming monitor. This is HDR, it's 35 inch, it's G-Sync Ultimate, it's pretty much everything that everyone wants. This was actually announced a couple of years ago, but we've been waiting for this to land. And I've been told this has actually now finally hit mass production and should be landing next month. So to everyone asking all about when this monitor is actually going to land, well, now you have your answer. We couldn't do a tour of Computex without, of course, talking about RGB. And over at the A-Data XPG booth, we've got all of their RGB DRAM and something brand new. This is the first M.2 SSD I've seen with RGB lighting on the front. Now, obviously, the big problem with this is that if you want to get the best cooling possible and use a heatsink, you're not going to be able to actually do it with this. But if you want your system to look the best it possibly can be and you don't have enough RGB already, you can put this in there while enjoying the increased speed is this one has up to 3,500 megabytes on the read, 3,000 on the writes, and it's just generally going to be one of the fastest and one of the best looking SSDs on the market. XPG have actually got this in a system right here, and this is actually inside their brand new enclosure. They've got a brand new water cooler in there, brand new power supply. So they're trying to get into the whole ecosystem, not just SSDs, memory, they're actually trying to get you to build a fully XPG branded PC. And I have to say, it looks really rather smart. Will we be getting this stuff in for a review and doing a full build? Yeah, you bet. Something else that's caught my eye is over here at the ASUS Tor booth. And if you're thinking, NASA's, how is that cool? You'd actually be wrong, because what we have here is a high-end gaming computer, like you may have at your home, gaming monitor, full gaming setup, Battlefield 5 running. How does that actually link in with a NAS? Well, actually, this is all running off of one of these. This is their new Nimbus Tor 4. This is running some high-end CPU inside the NAS, and it actually allows you to be running games directly through the network, through the NAS, and actually play them as if they were running locally. And this would actually be really, really useful for myself. I'm always building loads of different computers, and having to install games time and time again or transfer them from computer to computer is a right pain in the bum. So to be able to do this, especially if you've got multiple people actually in your home playing different games and you want to keep them all without having to buy loads of different hard drives and transfer them all, this is actually something that could be really useful. Now Corsair sponsored this year's coverage, and they're really keen to show off their brand new Stream Deck XL. This is essentially a larger size Stream Deck, and if you've never heard of this before, it sits on your desk and it's very contextual, so you set up different hotkeys depending on the application you're using. So in my personal use case, whenever I'm just in the desktop, I actually have a few different stocks and shares come up, it shows you live pricing, but as soon as I open up OBS or maybe GeForce Experience in-game, then you get all of these different options for, say, recording gameplay, starting your stream to Twitch. Their latest version has now 32 keys, so if you're basically a big deal and you have a lot of stuff going on, then you can manage it all with a Stream Deck XL. Check it out in the link below. It's always so impressive just how many modded computers there are here at Computex and just how good they look. We're at the Thermaltake booth and all of them are clearly made with such care, such finesse, and there must be so many hours that actually goes into designing a system like this. I mean, the amount of evenings that they must have spent making something that actually has this level of care, attention to detail, I'm just blown away every single time. All of these are, of course, water-cooled, super high-end specs, but I just like how they all look completely different, yet they're all pretty much based on the same case. Very, very impressive stuff. This one is designed by Corey from Designs by IFL, who I had the pleasure to meet last year, and it's been good to see him again. And if you look at this one from the front, we've got, like, moving cogs that actually... I don't think they make any difference to your performance, but they certainly make a big difference to the overall look and aesthetic. I think if you had a PC like this, everyone would just be staring at it rather than actually playing games on it. It's so, so incredible. And then you've got things like this as well. I mean, how is this made from the original case? I will have no idea, but it's mind-blowing. But I can't talk about modded PCs without mentioning this one behind me. You guys know how much I love Apex Legends, even if I don't play it as much as I'd like these days. This is a completely modded PC around the death box concept that you get inside the game. An AK, modder from Taiwan, has done this, and honestly, I just can't believe how good this thing looks. Okay, it's definitely not the most practical thing in the world, but obviously that's completely beside the point. I 
I'm just blown away with the talent of some of these people. It's absolutely incredible. Now, obviously, I love a good showcase. And when you come to shows like this, realistically, we're looking for something that's really eye-grabbing, not always that realistic for what you're going to have at home. And MSI definitely have this. So this is an absolutely huge, gigantic wall of nanoleafs. These are the square tiles. They're the newest ones. And I hate to think how much this setup would cost if you want to put it in your own home. Like, honestly, we're talking probably tens of thousands. I don't have the exact figure, strangely enough, because I don't spend my evenings, afternoons, pricing all of this stuff up. It is very difficult to walk through people, but we're going to do it here. But the thing that's really clever about this is that it's not just lights on the wall. This is really smart and intelligent. So this is using their new intelligent lighting system um, that syncs your RGB lighting within your PC with your in-game events. So we've seen this sort of thing before. Logitech have been doing this for ages. So for example, if you're playing GTA and maybe you're being chased by the police, um, then the lights could flash red and blue. It's, it's that sort of in-game event that can cause triggers and can actually change the different colors of what's going on. But the thing that's clever about this is that it will actually synchronize with Philips Hue, with the nano leaves that we have behind us, and you get this absolutely huge room filling effect. Obviously, it will depend on the exact amount of the lights and panels you have, but it's going to work not only in game, but it should work out of game as well. So you can come in home and you can talk to Alexa and say, hey, Alexa, I'm home, and then all of your lighting and all of your PC will actually adjust to the commands you've given it, and you can customize these things, make custom effects and stuff. So it's a really, really cool thing, I have to say. I will actually be getting some of these panels in, and we're going to set up something similar like this, but strangely enough, I think the amount of panels I'm going to have is going to be a little bit lower. But you didn't think there'd only be one RGB SSD, did you? No, because T-Force are actually showing off a brand new addressable RGB that almost looks like it's got a screen on it. It's really well done. Whether the effect is something you want in your PC, I'm not entirely sure. I think you definitely have to display it in the right way. Maybe you'd have a couple. Because by itself, it almost does stick out a little bit. It almost looks a little bit out of place, I think, in the test system they've got set up here. But it's actually the RGB RAM that really caught my eye and looks really, really impressive. I wouldn't say that it's overly different, again, to what we've seen from some of its competitors, but it's using this flowing RGB effect that actually looks really, really good. When you compare this to other RGB RAM on the market, it does stand out and does look that little bit different. So I'll be getting hold of this and putting it in a future build. So our final stop is here at the Alpha Cool booth, where they're showing off some really cool hardcore water cooling things that I seem to suddenly be really, really interested in. So we've got GPU blocks with addressable RGB, and I really like just how tasteful this looks. A lot of times I think hardcore water cooling and RGB isn't really something that would mix, but this looks really, really slick, and this is actually one of their more entry-level blocks as well, which is really, really cool. If you're not quite ready for custom liquid cooling, though, they do have an all-in-one that has really caught my eye. This one is called the Ice Bear, and as you can tell, it's got an absolutely huge block in it, and they do this to get around the ASTUC patent, so it's actually quite different to its competitors that pretty much all use the same variant. It's got a window on the side, so you can actually see what's going on, and once this is plugged in, you'll be able to see all the liquid turn around. I think it's going to be a little bit divisive. Not everyone will or want something this size but again I think it looks really tasteful and I can't wait to actually put this in one of my new systems but something that I definitely think makes it into cool tech at Computex that is absolutely gigantic and as soon as I am ready for custom liquid cooling and I've been doing a load of different builds this is what I want in my system this is called the ice ball but look at this thing it's a pump reservoir and it's quite striking it does definitely resemble something I don't think we need to say exactly what it is. But once you get this hooked up in a large enough case, it's going to look very, very good. It's going to be a huge centerpiece, and it's going to be something that I think a lot of people will be talking about. So this has been Coolest Tech here at Computex 2019. Let me know your favorites down in the comment section below. If you've heard something from the show that I've missed, be sure to let me know as well. And while I'm still here, I'll go and check it out, because otherwise I have to wait till next year. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thanks to Corsair and eBuyer for actually sponsoring this year's coverage. Check them out in the link below. I'll see you in the next one.